método de ensino no Montessori tem atraído cada vez mais crianças em Macau. Esta forma de educar os mais novos foi criada há mais de 100 anos em Itália e foca-se sobretudo nas características específicas de cada criança, promovendo a independência. A TDM Canal Macau foi descobrir mais sobre o método de Montessori. Ajuda-me a fazer sozinho é a TDM Reportagem, desta semana, num trabalho da jornalista Joana Freitas. para aplicar a la nova educação e meus princípios. Em 1870, nascia em Itália Maria Montessori, uma das primeiras, se não a primeira mulher a formar-se em medicina no país. Maria Montessori desenvolveu uma forma de trabalho com crianças que viria até hoje a incorporar escolas públicas e privadas em todo o mundo. Interessada em matérias científicas como a matemática e a biologia, mas impedida de exercer a profissão na qual se formou, Maria Montessori dedicou-se a observar a forma como as crianças brincavam na rua. Aqui percebeu a importância da liberdade e do estímulo para o desenvolvimento físico e mental dos mais novos. No método que acaba por herdar o seu nome, a aprendizagem foca-se no desenvolvimento natural das habilidades físicas, sociais e psicológicas de cada criança, na interferência mínima dos professores e na criação de um espaço próprio onde as crianças podem e são instigadas a ser autónomas. O primeiro destes espaços, criado por Maria Montessori, chamava-se Casa dei Bambini, ou a Casa das Crianças. Hoje há milhares destas casas em todo o mundo, Milhares de escolas e centros que usam o método Montessori. Macau não é exceção. From zero to three, we uh, train uh, children to become independent. As we apply the method into our family, I can see that our children are more independent and confident in the, in the environment because we treat them as an individual and uh, we respect them. And then I think for that respect, uh, they really uh, feel that we allow them to uh, develop in their own way. Montessori itself is very children-centered. They have the freedom to choose what they want to do, what they want to learn, you know, to explore. They have the freedom to just pick the task. We need to see how our children's characteristic in different stages. Because actually, from zero to three, or three to six, or even the elementary or adolescents, they have their own characteristic. And how we support the children's characteristic is very important. And then we can see how we can support the full development. Because if we don't know about the children's characteristic, then we couldn't help. In Montessori education, one of the most important things is independence. So in independence, it can really help it at home. For example, in our classroom, we have a word called washing the table. So you can never imagine how a two-year-old can wash a table and manage like five tools at the same time to wash the table properly. But actually, if uh, you understand that the child needs, just needs some time and just need to be independently to solve out all the problems and repeat, and then they can do it at home too. If a child, um, he or she can develop all these at a very early age, it is very likely that um, they will have less problems in future learning and that they are expected to develop into a confident individual.
children, they have order, they have the sense of privacy, they have the absorbent mind. And if we can provide a prepared environment just like here, children can choose their interest to work, they can be independent because we really want the children can be independent and then they can help themselves and then they can move on to help the environment. Standardised education is more teacher-led. Uh, in Montessori, we prefer to allow the child to choose what they, what, what tasks they prefer to play with. That then allows them to be more focused, and they will learn more about that particular task, whether it's mathematics or fine motor skills or any other development. So this is how Montessori uh, leaves them space for uh, developing the inner discipline. It's not to always uh, you remind them to do uh, something or you, you force them to do something, but they, they, they find it out to learn is so much fun and they want to be focused and involved to something really deep. There's quite a lot of problem solving as well involved mm. in some Montessori aspects. So it teaches the children to look at an activity and we won't necessarily explain it straight away. We will ask them to look at it and see if they can figure out how mm. they're supposed to use it. Child uh, self-thinking about how they're going to complete the activity without asking for any help. Um, so if they're really struggling, then we will offer them a piece of advice. But generally, we like to let them solve it themselves and then they get more confident in their ability to solve problems independently. Mm, yeah, teachers is a facilitator. Actually, the adults were presented to children, and afterward, we would invite the children to do it, and then the children start doing it, and then we start back to observe how the children do it. If the children need help, they can come to us or we can see how the children can solve it by themselves. So it's very important how the adults can step back and observe. We have four uh, different areas in uh, this uh, environment. We have the practical life area. The material in this area uh, was the materials that we can find in our environment, like, like uh, washing dishes or mopping the floor. Sometimes the adults will not allow them to participate. So in this um, environment, they can uh, practice their skills and also uh, at home they can uh, have the ability to participate in the family work. The second is uh, the sensorial area. Uh, it's the area to help uh, children to develop all their senses. Uh, the third one is the language area. We have uh, some materials to help them, how to help the child to understand uh, how the, the language organized. And um, the last area, which is um, in the math area, Mathematics uh, of Montessori is the most famous uh, in, uh, around the world. Uh, before the child reached the uh, age of six, they already learn uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. growth in fine motor skills, they focused and focus is a very good development. Um, the second one would be their self-care, so they can clean their plates, they can wash their hands, they put on their aprons. It is not anything special, I think just we understand child, understand uh, their development. I think we believe in their ability. When we uh, develop a child in a, a, a correct way, uh, I think their ability will uh, will grow and explore, and we we'll, uh, we just need to hold on that opportunity and then just make it to become something greater. Yeah. And also, different children they have their own learning pace. 
and then they have their own interests. We can say just like in the traditional classroom, the teachers only give the same uh, materials or the same lesson to all the children in a very abstract way. It really uh, couldn't help the children to learn or understand uh, what you are going to convey to them. When the child they learn from all their senses and their memory become more strong. Well, it's very important for the parents to understand that um, they need to have the chance to uh, actually work on their self and to practice and the parents need to be patient until they see something is really coming out. Montessori has a very famous uh, saying that uh, we should follow the child, yeah. So we should, we should not enforce the child what uh, the adults think the way they should grow. Instead, uh, we should follow them and observe their development and then we can try to assist uh, to help them uh, what they need during their development. O ensino Montessori em Macau é agora algo comum e são vários os centros que o ensinam. Dos três espaços que a TDM Reportagem visitou, o Macau Emil Montessori Center é o mais antigo. Foi em 2010 que Ashley Lay e Bruce Lowe trouxeram o sistema para Macau, depois de terem vivido em Londres, onde fizeram o curso. O método Montessori foi, em si, uma resposta às frustrações de uma professora que via as crianças com pouca motivação nas aulas. Voltar para Macau foi uma escolha a pensar nos outros. Actually, I really want to help the parents and then want to uh, to, to help more people to know about this method because I found it was amazing and that it really helped not just the children and also the family as well. Ashley Lay ensinou inglês durante seis anos. Foi o nascimento do primeiro filho que a fez pensar em formas diferentes de aprendizagem. Essa fase da vida é, aliás, um denominador comum para aqueles que optam por partilhar a experiência Montessori no território. When I first heard about Montessori, I was amazed how this uh, Montessori method answer all my questions in uh, how to raise a child. So um, my wife and I decided well, we should apply this method into our family. No caso de Tam, o curso sobre o sistema Montessori foi feito nos Estados Unidos após o nascimento de um segundo filho, que despertou mais curiosidade sobre a forma de ensino. Mas antes, uma outra criança levou a mãe, Tintin, a viajar até à Suíça. A decisão de voltar e abrir o Macau Monte Kids chegou devido ao agrado pelo método. Mas tal como Ashley, também Tintin, explicam que o desconhecimento dos pais sobre Montessori foi um obstáculo para abrir os centros. Workshops gratuitos e a internacionalização do ensino acabou por levar a que cada vez mais alunos frequentassem estas aulas. Já o espaço para montar uma escola Montessori, contudo, continua a ser um problema. Ainda assim, há quem pretenda continuar a misturar o método de ensino Montessori com o tradicional. É o caso do Sun Child Care Center, na Taipa. We don't use only methods, uh, Montessori method here. We use many other ways of teaching as well. Um, you know, um, we, of course, we do provide Montessori training in our center. And we incorporate the method in our daily teaching. And we just make use of it during the lesson time. But at the same time, we support the interactive way of learning. Children, they learn through play. Um, we believe that with more than one single method of teaching, it actually benefits children more and the parents actually believe in the same. Seja o que for, aquilo em que acredite, a verdade é que há mais de 100 anos que o método Montessori é aplicado em todo o mundo. Fica a ideia, também em Macau, quem sabe esta pode ser mais uma forma de fazer crescer aqueles que são, afinal, o futuro. Ficamos por aqui, voltaremos para a semana com mais uma TDM Reportagem.